look, we know Mr. Musk it has had some successful company. We've seen what he's been doing at Tesla, uh, and we know he has that vision. And that's why you saw a lot of high-profile backers come and back this deal from the start. The problem with Twitter is, for years, it struggled in monetizing its user base and growing that user base and figuring out how to diversify its revenue beyond just advertising. Now, Elon Musk has spoken about some of the ideas for the platform. He's, told, he's spoken about the fact that he feels like free speech is restricted on the platform, that that needs to open up. He's spoken about he, the fact that he wants a billion people uh, to use the platform eventually. And, and just a few hours ago, he tweeted that he wants Twitter to become the everything app. The X, X, X. X for everything. And one, one of the interesting things with that, just a, a quick side point, is Elon Musk has, has sort of laid out his admiration for WeChat, uh, uh, a, uh, an app in China which has over a billion users, which is actually the everything app. It's ubiquitous. People use WeChat every day. And perhaps the Chinese that's something... authorities monitor everything on WeChat. If Musk is able to turn Twitter into an everything app, or what some call a super app, then Twitter could soon be worth trillions. In this video, we're going to be looking at what a super app is what Musk's vision might look like, and what barriers will prevent him from turning his vision into a reality. For several years, Twitter has struggled to monetize its user base, but Tesla's CEO and business tycoon Elon Musk has better ideas on how to diversify Twitter's revenue beyond just advertising. The Tesla CEO also plans to take Twitter to a new dimension by transforming it into an incredible app that allows its users to do almost anything and everything. Hey everyone, and welcome back to Everything Tesla Stock. While Elon Musk and Twitter's management are still in the process of settling this whole acquisition deal, the Tesla CEO has given hints about his final decision with regards to the deal. The stock expert disclosed in a recent tweet what he's got planned out if he does actually purchase the social media platform. In the tweet, Musk spoke about transforming Twitter into an everything app. Although Musk is yet to name this proposed platform, he's currently referring to it by the letter X, adding that Twitter will probably accelerate the progress of this platform by three to five years. So what is this proposed app, and what features are we to expect from it? Keep watching to find out, but before we get going, don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on part two of this video, which is going to be released soon. The idea of a super app that allows people to do practically everything seems pretty interesting. According to CNBC technology correspondent Arjun Karpal, there are only a few of these apps available. Out of more than 3.4 million on the Google Play Store and 2.2 on the Apple App Store, which were recorded in the first quarter of this year. These apps usually start with a simple product like a messaging service or a ride hailing service, and then take on more and more services like food delivery, digital payment, mobile phone top ups, and social networking, to mention a few. Some notable ones are WeChat in China, Alipay, Paytm in India, Grab in Singapore, GoTo in Indonesia, and a few others. These apps have dominated their markets and have raked in enormous revenue. GoTo is Indonesia's most valuable tech company, contributing 2% to the country's $1 trillion GDP, and Paytm has over 350 million users signed up to their digital payment service, and WeChat's got over 1.2 billion users in China. Imagine if there were more of these apps. And also, think about the number of users each app will have, not to mention the revenue that they're going to generate. Musk knows this, and it is obvious that he's already making plans for it. Musk's Everything app is said to be inspired by China's top social media platform, WeChat. WeChat is one of the two big super apps used in China, the other one being Alipay. These apps have taken the Asian markets by storm, and are used by almost everyone in China at least once a day. WeChat started as a messaging app, but after its expansion, it was upgraded to do almost anything. The platform was developed by Tencent and can be described as an all-in-one platform. It can be said to have combined features of Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, WhatsApp, PayPal, Shopify, and much more. Musk believes that by replicating something similar to Twitter, he could take the social media platform to another level. The business expert disclosed this at Town Hall with Twitter employees sometime back in June. He stated, I think it's an important goal for Twitter that we should be able to try to include as much of the country, as much of the world as possible. You basically live on WeChat in China because it's so usable and helpful to daily life. I think we too can achieve that or even get close to that at Twitter. And if we can, it will be an immense success. Musk's acquisition of Twitter not only promises the availability of an all-purpose app, 
but also a new dimension to cryptocurrencies. After Musk announced that he's going to be buying Twitter again, the price of Dogecoin pumped up significantly. And this might not just be a coincidence. In a previous one text thread between Musk and Steve Davis, president of the Boring Company, the Tesla CEO shared his thoughts on a crypto version of Twitter. According to him, his plan B is a blockchain-based version of Twitter, where tweets are embedded in the transaction of comments. So people will have to pay about 0.1 dodge per comment or repost of that comment. Although Musk later decided that this feature was not feasible at the moment, it's still something that he could try when he does eventually acquire Twitter, making Dogecoin the official currency of the platform. If successful, it could be the first real-world use of cryptocurrency, and could actually be the catalyst for mass adoption of crypto. However, although the idea of a super app is incredible, it's important to know that a super app isn't a one-size-fits-all concept. And the fact that it is successful in one country does not mean that it's going to work in another. Also, localization is a key factor of growth for a super app. But since Twitch is a global platform, this can be pretty difficult to achieve. Apps like WeChat have done remarkably well because there's less competition. In China, platforms like WhatsApp, Signal, Twitter, Facebook and Google are all blocked, which consequently cuts out a huge amount of competition. While privacy regulations could be another possible hindrance, it may not be too much of a problem since Musk is building the Everything app from an already existing platform, Twitter. Responding to Musk's tweet on the Everything app, a Twitter user commented that it could be a lot easier to start the new app from scratch. However, Musk replied saying, Twitter probably accelerates X by three to five years, but I could be wrong. Tech companies in China have grown without many restrictions, and there haven't been regulations and laws to govern data or privacy. But this isn't really the same for places like Europe and America. Europe is strong on the general data protection regulations, and since super apps rely a lot on user data due to their ability to traverse across different industries, it might be difficult to thrive in these markets. Apps like WeChat collect a lot of data, which is most valuable as an asset in the world of electronics and just in general. This could be one reason as to why Musk wants to create an app like this. Also, these platforms rely on data from users' profiles to serve ads, which is a major source of income. No doubt, Musk's new app will likely take the market by storm, and we're hoping it does. Super apps will continue to stay dominant, and with more people having access to their mobile phones, there are a lot of good things to expect. Twitter's already got about 397 million users, who are most likely going to be a big user base for this new app. Can Musk successfully turn Twitter into a super app like WeChat? Let us know down below, don't forget to watch part 2. If you'd like to know what Tesla's been up to in the last few days, go ahead and click on this next video on your screen. See you there.